monitoring in DevOps is important because it makes sure your software applications are running properly, your infrastructure is up, and you don't face any business loss. So in this video, we will look at eight popular monitoring tools that every DevOps engineer should know, along with different monitoring types in DevOps, and an amazing resource to learn all these monitoring tools at one place. Let's start. Before we start with learning about the popular monitoring tools, we need to understand what are different types of monitoring that we do in DevOps. So there can be different types of monitoring like server monitoring or cost monitoring, network monitoring, application monitoring, infrastructure monitoring. You can pretty much monitor anything that is important for you or for your business. So before we start with different tools, let me help you understand these different types of monitoring, starting with what is server monitoring. Server monitoring is important to keep an eye on your servers or computers to make sure they are running smoothly, they are not overheating and have enough resources like CPU and memory to run the application. Server monitoring is important because there can be issues like downtime, which brings your application down, your website is down and your customers cannot access it, which cause loss in the business. Server monitoring can help us catch problems, resolve issues early before it actually happens. And this is the first type of monitoring. Let's look at what is network monitoring. Imagine you are talking to your girlfriend on a video call or you are playing game of Fortnite with your friends and suddenly the game started lagging or there is a high ping, then there is always a network problem. Network monitoring can be done to look at the connection between different computers. It can also be done to check the traffic coming in and going out in the network, some bottlenecks or potential issues. And this is important because network problems can slow down the communication between servers and users. Moving on, the next type of monitoring is cost monitoring. Cost monitoring is used to keep track of how much money you're spending on different cloud resources or services. And this reminds me of an incident where I was working for a company and an employee created a S3 bucket, enabled login for it, and the log was stored in the same bucket, which created loop and they got around thousands of dollars of bills. This is why you need cost monitoring to avoid spending more than your budget and also to avoid surprise expenses like this. Similar to these, there are other different types of monitorings like infrastructure monitoring, application monitoring, database monitoring, log monitoring, cloud monitoring, even container monitoring now due to rise of Docker and Kubernetes. So there are so many different types of monitorings and you can read about them online. But now let's understand how can you actually perform these types of monitorings? What are different popular monitoring tools that we have in DevOps, starting with Prometheus. Prometheus is a very popular open source monitoring tool that you can use to monitor containerized applications, microservices, and different cloud native environments. So let's say you have an application on Kubernetes. You can use Prometheus to collect and analyze different set of data or metrics like resource utilization. You can check how is your application performing? Is your service up or not? Are your SSL certificates going to expire or not? You can do all of this using Prometheus. It can help you scrape metrics, set up alerting rules, notify you whenever there's a problem, and also help you visualize all this data in Grafana dashboards. We will be talking about Grafana very soon, but it's also another monitoring tool. Along with this, there are so many different features that Prometheus have, but one powerful feature is the PromQL or Prometheus Query Language, which helps you query on collected metric, set up alerting rules, and make your life easier. The only disadvantage is learning Prometheus can be complex and you will need to spend more time learning about it. And this is why I have an amazing resource for you. So this is Code Cloud, an online trading platform to learn about different cloud platforms and also DevOps tools, including Kubernetes, Prometheus, Terraform, and a lot more. Good thing about Code Cloud is it provides you with hands-on labs, which lets you learn by actually doing it. For example, I'm using Prometheus course, which has this hands-on lab that teaches me Prometheus along with hands-on exercises. Code Cloud provides you with learning path based on role. So if you want to become a DevOps engineer, you can choose this or domain based, which provides you with courses based on a particular domain. Now, if you are very new to DevOps, you can click on the role based, select DevOps engineer, which will provide you with a roadmap on which courses you should be doing to become a full fledged DevOps engineer. Not just this, if you have any questions or issues while doing these courses, you can join the Code Cloud community which has over 70,000 plus enthusiastic individuals. And you can ask your questions in this Slack workspace. Code Cloud is providing with a free week for you to test out all these different courses for free. So if you want to get started and take advantage of this free week, click on the link in the description and sign up for the free week, which is from 25th September to 1st October. 
or you can also simply scan this code and register for the free week. Moving on, the second monitoring tool is Grafana, which is also open sourced and perfect for creating custom dashboard to visualize monitoring data coming from different sources. So let's say you have enabled monitoring through different set of monitoring tools like Prometheus, Elasticsearch, CloudWatch, InfluxDB, and so much more. And you want all this monitoring data at one place in charts, graph, and good visualization, then you can use Grafana for that. Along with rich visualization and support for multiple data sources, Grafana also provides features like alerting plugin ecosystems and comment dashboard. The only problem is you need to integrate Grafana with all these different tools that can be a bit complex. The third monitoring tool is Nagios, which is again open source and very, very popular that is used in many DevOps companies. Nagios is primarily used to monitor the availability of a service if it is running or not, and also has a very powerful alerting system that checks and notifies you in real time. But obviously using plugins in Nagios, you can monitor more than just availability of a service. Along with this, there are more features like Nagios can collect historical data, which is very helpful to analyze and to troubleshoot many monitoring issues. The fourth tool in the monitoring list is EMK Stack that stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. And this is a very powerful monitoring tool to monitor logs, manage them, and also to understand log data. So imagine you have a website with lots of visitors and you want to keep track of what are your visitors doing on the site. You need to know which one is accessing your web page or you just want to monitor if any issues occurs. You can use ELK Stack for that. One of the cool things of ELK Stack is it can let you search through your log data just like you would search on the internet. Along with this, you can also create charts and graph to understand log data properly. Plus, using ELK, you can also break down and understand different parts of your log data making it very easy to work with logs when using ELK stack. In this ELK stack, the Elasticsearch is super powered search engine for your logs. The log stash is a component that will connect the logs from different sources, from different processes, and will ingest the logs in the stack. Whereas K or Kibala is used to visualize this log data in graphs and chart. Along with this, log stash is also very resource intensive. And if you want to run it, make sure your system can handle it. So this is another great tool for monitoring. Next monitoring tool that we have on the list is New Relic. New Relic is a tool to monitor all kinds of things, websites, mobile application, servers on which these applications are running, and even how people are visiting your applications and what are their experiences. For example, let's say you have an e-commerce website to sell t-shirts online, and you want to make sure that your customers are having a good time visiting your website and also to buy t-shirts from it. So you can use New Relic to monitor things and also to help you with different issues like slow transactions, how well is your database working, what is happening on your servers, and much more. New Relic helps you alert for these problems in real time. You can customize them or present your data in custom dashboards, graphs, as you can do with Grafana. Apart from this, New Relic is known for user-friendly and it's very easy to use, also suitable for modern application. Next, top-notch monitoring tool in the list is Dynatrace. Dynatrace can be used to monitor complex applications and microservices. For example, imagine you have a cloud native modern application that have multiple containers in it, different services, and also some third party services that you're using in this application. So Dynatrace can be used to monitor your application and also the third party services and how the data is transferred among them. Not just this, Dynatrace can help you find slow spots or pinpoint errors, which can cause performance issues. One of the popular features of Dynatrace is its smart monitoring that uses AI, which I also mentioned in one of my videos where I've showed how AI can replace DevOps engineers. Do check out. So Dynatrace uses AI to spot issues and can notify you before it actually happens. It's like having a virtual assistant that will check your applications 24 by 7. Number seven is Plank, which is another very powerful monitoring tool for analyzing log data to enhance security and to make decisions. Imagine you're working as a DevSecOps engineer in a company and you want to protect your application from any possible security threats, then you would be using Splunk. Splunk can connect and ingest data from various different sources and can also detect possible threats and alert you in real time. Similar to Elasticsearch, Splunk also has indexing and searching feature to search through your log data and also uses machine learning to detect anomalies or possible threats to keep your application safe. Last monitoring tool that we have is App Dynamics, which is mainly used for application performance monitoring, but also can be used to check code issues in different 
programming languages. For example, let's say you have an application which is very important and makes a lot of money for you and you want to make sure that it works properly all the time, then you can use App Dynamics for it. App Dynamics can help you monitor your application in real time, alert you whenever there's an issue. It can even look at the actual code to find and fix any issues that can slow down your application or cause any other issues. App Dynamics is super detailed and provides you with deep insights to make sure your application is running properly and the users have good experience. So whenever you have a critical application that is very important for your business, I would recommend using App Dynamics. So there you go. These are all the popular monitoring tools that we have in DevOps. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.